Conor McGregor will never win another fight ever again. And if he dares to enter the cage with someone like Michael Chandler, he'd get If you don't agree with me, watch this video until the end because I'll prove why McGregor is done and dusted. When Conor McGregor entered the UFC in 2013, he absolutely steamrolled everyone in the featherweight division to eventually land a title shot and defeat longtime champion Jose Aldo in title as well, and that too by putting on a striking clinic against Eddie Alvarez. At that point in time, McGregor was the biggest star in the UFC, and everyone from top featherweights, lightweights, and even welterweights wanted to fight him. The sky was truly the limit for the noisy Irishman, who didn't want any of that. Instead, he transitioned to boxing and got beaten up by Floyd Mayweather for $100 million. Since then, he has lost three times with only one win against Donald Cerrone. The question is, how did the biggest MMA star in the world become a living joke? From 2017 to present, a lot has changed. Most importantly, McGregor's mindset. The Irishman has become so powerful in terms of star power and fan following that he doesn't care about the UFC anymore. He knows he can bend the rules. He knows he'll always have people begging to fight him. He knows he'll always be the money fight. He literally gets what he wants because of his star power. And let's be honest here, guys. Who would want to get up in the morning and grind all day when there are hundreds of millions of dollars in the bank? I wouldn't, and I bet most of you won't work as hard either. It's natural, isn't it? McGregor is worth more than $600 million, which is so much money that one needs to find new and adventurous ways to spend it. In McGregor's case, he likes to spend his money on yachts and supercars as well as partying with the hottest girls in town. These days, he's pretty close to Aussie boxer Ebony Bridges, or Blonde Bomber, whose close relationship with the Irishman doesn't sit well with McGregor's fans, who thinks he's disrespecting his partner, Dee Devlin. Not just that, McGregor doesn't seem serious about fighting anymore in general, and seriously, why would he? How much would the UFC pay him for a fight? 5 million? 10? 20? 30? He can easily generate that much money through his businesses, including the Proper 12 Irish Whiskey, his Black Forge Inn Pub, his clothing brand, August McGregor, and now through acting gigs because he was pretty good in Roadhouse, whether someone likes it or not. McGregor has tons of ways to make money now, so why would he get punched in the face for that? He's not very serious about fighting, and it's pretty clear. He doesn't train as much or with the same amount of vigor. He doesn't really care about his weight and has bulked up to over 200 pounds, and he is definitely not going to cut down to 155 ever again. If he's going to fight Michael Chandler, he'll do it at 185, which makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. A win wouldn't earn him a title shot, and a loss wouldn't simply make him a joke for even his hardcore fans. And honestly, I see the latter happening if and when the notorious one enters the octagon in the summer. Michael Chandler is a seriously tough fight for anyone, especially for a guy who hasn't fought in over two years and is coming off a brutal injury. The former Bellator lightweight champion is an absolute powerhouse on the feet. He's quick, he's explosive, and most importantly, he has had more fights in recent years and he spends a lot of time in the gym every day. Chandler is also an excellent wrestler, and wrestling has been McGregor's Achilles heel throughout his career. If McGregor thinks the American would be an easy fight for him, he is in for a very rude awakening. Chandler is anything but an easy fight for McGregor. It is an extremely dangerous fight for the former champ, who is 35 years old now, which means he won't be getting better. It's only a downward spiral from here on. The bottom line is that Conor McGregor is not the same fighter he once used to be. He's not even a shell of his past self. He's a completely different guy, a businessman per se, who is just out for profits and who can blame him? He knows what he's worth and he's making choices that he believes are right. Good for him, but bad for the fight fans. That's how I see it. Can Conor McGregor make a strong comeback in MMA? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. If you liked our video, please subscribe to our channel and turn on those notifications. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in another one.